guys, it's your girl Miss Benjamin Buttons on One. I am coming to you today with the strawberry letter. Let's get it, honey. This your girl Miss Benjamin Buttons 01 and guess what day it is people? It is Throwback Thursday. Y'all gonna get two videos today, sugar. Let's get into the new one. PayPal.com slash US slash get QR code. Time now for today's strawberry letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your strawberry letter to steveharveyfm.com and click submit strawberry letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air for you, Jay, just like we're going to read this one live. This one could be yours. You never know. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. Strawberry letter. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, MTV Award nominee. Subject. <laughs> All of my ex friends are fine. Okay, dear Stephen Shirley, I'm a 31 year old single female, and I met a really good man on a dating app. We're from the same city, and we know a lot of the same people. We dated for three months, and he revealed to me that he went to college with my ex boyfriend, and didn't want me to run off by uh, telling me that up front. I I was cool with it, but my ex-boyfriend wasn't, and when he found out, he called to uh, tell me his friends were off limits. I dated my ex-boyfriend for five years, and his friends would openly flirt with me and make inappropriate comments often, and he would just laugh it off. I must admit that all of my ex's friends are fine, but I never wanted any of them until I met oh, a guy on the dating hell. site. His sex was amazing, but I ended things with him out of respect for my ex-boyfriend. After a while, I was back on the dating scene, but not having much luck. Then I ran into a guy that used to work with my ex-boyfriend. He invited me to a sip-and-see art exhibition that was in town. I went to the gallery the next night, and he cornered me and said he'd always wanted to get to know me better, but he couldn't because of my ex. I could feel his eyes on my body all night as I... I walked around. He kissed me on my neck before I left, and he asked me if he could see me again, but in a more private setting so we could get to know, he could get to know me much better. Yo, you can't do the fucking sex I know that if I'm ever alone with him, we will definitely have sex, because the sexual tension is thick. I'm willing to risk my ex-boyfriend hating me. That's how bad I want this man. My inner whore is telling what? <laughs> what? I said, Junior. My inner whore what? is telling me to have sex with him and tell my ex to mind his business. Would it be wrong to mess around with this guy? Uh, are there any more guys in town besides your ex's friends? No. I, I mean, you, you got to get out of this circle and break out, okay? Obviously, it's a small town, and these guys have been coveting you since, you know, you were with your ex for those five years. I, I just think this is too messy of a situation. You still talk to your ex, and he's still friends with his friends. These guys are still his friends. It's awkward. Uh, it's got that pass-around vibe, which you don't want. And you already, you know, had two in this group come at you like that. So tell your inner whore, as you called it. Um, no, no, you will not have sex with your ex's friends, no matter how fine they are and how thick the sexual any... tension is. Just say no. Keep it clean. There are plenty of guys I'm sure that you can date without having to date your ex's friends. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> why you that one word, that one phrase. You know? Why, you, why you got to go out and get all dressed up and go to the club and they right there, hit it and quit it. You want to go through the whole group? In fact, when he left, what? he left his ex friends. He left you and he left his friends. He left every damn body. He just took his ass to school and just left every damn body. 
it. So you on your own. They right there. They're there. They're there for the taking. Hit it. Quit it. See what he's working with. No, no. He, he loved everybody. He loved his Jay friends. Anthony? He loved you. So he left you. That means he left. The word left means he gone. Means he not there no more. He gone. He, he not around. That what left me. That what left me to me. He left you alone. He left you alone. And you don't want to be alone. Go through the whole damn bunch. When he bring his ass back, he got to get new friends. Not the whole damn bunch. Yeah, you're right. Y'all know me and stuff. I hate when they do that. Okay, with this, her ex found out, and he said he was not. So all the 
a cut off at some point. I mean, no, seriously, it, it really does. It has to be a cut off. Because she's going to get labeled as a hoe. She's going to get labeled as what she says she is or what she going to think. She, All right, listen, post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, guys. Shirley. No Steve today. Shirley, Tommy, Junior, J. Anthony. Um, like they said, the boys, his boys, his boys. See, y'all trying to lay all this on the girl because she the one wrote the letter. Problem is, the boys is breaking the boy code. Them the ones breaking the code. The homeboys, they pushing up on her. Okay, then she said the little art gallery, the sip and sip and say, or sip and see, or sip and something. He pushed up on her. Y'all, no ma'am, no ham, no burger. Uh, your boy, his boys, his besties, his homeboys, them niggas shady, dog. They shady as shit. He don't need to have, and with friends like them, he don't need enemies. Even though that's his ex old lady. I get that. And you know, then I don't because it's the whole. I would love to know who made this code though. I don't even know if that's morally wrong or is it just. Yeah, if y'all know, if, is, is it like a moral complex? Should I have a moral complex against it to date your ex? Is it a moral thing or is it a. a, 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 a etiquette thing or aesthetic thing or whatever it is is it this wrong or is it just y'all know what i'm trying to say because i don't know i just like to know who to go who, who made the code up and they said girls don't sleep behind now i get the whole you don't well i'm gonna say go you don't sleep behind each other that's the same damn thing but the boys his boys it's his boys it's real talk. It's his boys doing the pushing. All she doing, like she said, is being a, 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 a um, following her in a whore. That that's all she's doing, and she's experienced. She's enjoying her in a whore. She's letting her hojo out. She's getting all of her hojo done over, or whatever, however it is. But that's what that is. Um. So yeah, I. I, I I don't know. I really, I don't know. Because I know young kids, not, I think when they start getting in their mid to late 20s, they realize, they start realizing how wrong it is. But when you in your early 20s, your beginning teens, y'all go back and forth between girlfriends and boyfriends. I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen. So... But it's his boys. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. It's his boys. His boys need to stop pushing up on her. That just that's just it. Cause I think I don't think I think if they don't push, she won't push back. That's what I think. Cause if they was his boys and they knew the code, ain't that how it's supposed to go? If you my boy, if I was a dude and you my boy, and I just broke up with my ex, you don't look at my ex. That's just off limits automatically. Is that not how the code goes? Okay, so technically, your boys or his boys ain't his boys. But yeah, this your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons 01. Now I'm going to do it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.